They'll run it with Jacobs. And he's not going to get in. They stop him at the one. They stop him on fourth and goal at the three. And the Titans' defense will celebrate the goal line stand. So they've gone for it twice now on fourth down of this game and both times unsuccessful. I wish we could hear the headsets now between the head coach and the offensive coordinator. Now that they're 0 for 2, if they get into a third situation, head coach might say, hey, you got anything for this one? <laughs> might get radio silence back. <laughs> Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. Their defense forced the turnover on downs. They've got the lead. They're in good shape, but can't go into a shell here, right? Still got to be careful. Yeah, because they're still a long way away from kneel down time. So they've got to work on getting first downs. Keep the sticks moving. And he lost the football. And the Raiders pick it up. And he'll take this down inside the 15-yard line. Well, that takeaway, partner, right there, that's a combination of coaching, execution and absolute belief because a lot of guys will look at the scoreboard and go ah this thing's pretty well done but they still thought to themselves if we could make a play we give our team we give our teammates a chance to win it and that's exactly what they did here's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line they run with Bolden and he'll fight his way down right around the 12. The tackle was by the Boston College product, Harold Landry. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They go back to the ground, this time Jacobs. 66 yards rushing for him now to this point. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Car to throw on third and one. Touchdown, Raiders! Darren Waller with a touchdown grab from Derek Carr. And the Raiders have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. So part one of what they needed is done. They get in the end zone. Now you have to imagine we'll see a try for two. And that's what the book says, but defensively, they can't hang their head right here. They've still got a chance to come out with the lead if they make the play. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because it didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. After review of the play, ruling on the field stands. And now the Raiders will face an important two-point conversion attempt here. Carr will look to throw. Complete at the one. But he is not going to make it. It's a big play by the defense, and they're going to hold on to their two-point lead. And the failure to convert and tie the game, now the pressure... Realism after defense. realism after realism after realism. That's what you've seen in this video so far. Excitement, unpredictability. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. This one taken just inside the 10. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And, he nearly and more realism. More, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. Tennessee offense set to go again. Now, Charles, of course, you got to remember, last possession they fumbled, it led to a touchdown. One score game here, got to be careful. And this is where coaching and training really comes into play, doesn't it? What, is it? what does everyone say after an error? Next play, move on, next drive. That mantra has to come to the front. They've got to take care of business right here and act like the last series just didn't happen. And more will be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They may 
want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Just a terrific run there, Charles, from a running back who is so compact and powerful, and that strength was on display there. Yeah, in this part of the game, the fourth quarter, this is where a running back really has a chance to shine. This is what they've been training for, to take over the game down the stretch. The defense, it's been battered all game long. And here, this is just a case of a runner imposing his will and deciding he didn't want to be tackled right there. And the next-gen stat shows us the tale of how much yardage he was able to pick up after the initial contact. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. A wise move there, looked like nobody open. Now second down. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. And he's got this down to the 35. First down, Titans gain of 12. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners taking care of the football because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Tannehill. That pass taken in by Burks. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Throwing again on second down. Tannehill. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 17-yard line. Tannehill able to take off and pick up the first as well. It hasn't been the cleanest game for him, but there was a sign of improvement as it looks towards the next one. Nice bit of scrambling to move the sticks, and even more importantly, he didn't risk adding another interception to his ledger. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. And he'll decide to keep this once more. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. Henry up the middle. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. 131 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll try the air now with Tannehill. They set up the screen for Henry. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Henry. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Now Tannehill toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to at least make it a five-point cushion. Bullock's kick is good, and he pushed the lead up to five. So they get to three, but you wonder now, 
is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Now the Raiders offense, they get set to head back on the field. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll, looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. I've got a good friend in football always talks about predictive history. He's got one of their two touchdowns. You can understand why they tried to find him again. Weren't able to connect, but the thought, that was good. Carr, he'll find his tight end. That's Waller. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Play action. Now it's Carr. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. The sack by Harold Landry, the former Boston College Eagle. Even keeping the back end for extra protection on third down, they still couldn't prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. Here's A.J. Cole now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. That's pulled in at the 32. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. It'll be a net of only 30 here. 40-yard punt, 10 on the return. And we have reached the two-minute warning. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 42. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And it's caught over the middle. Hooper. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. On second down, here's Henry. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. And now with 152 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. And the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. Uh, he's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. So Carr and the Raiders now down by five. Just over a minute, 40 to play. They need a touchdown. A field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and 10. Now Carr. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Carr signaling to his guys, let's go, let's go here. He's going to let it fly. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes, you go ahead and try to. They try to get it all back on that one. Weren't able to do so. Here's Carr. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Toward the sideline, and that is a nice catch as he's able to tiptoe his way out of bounds. They had to go 
four with such little time remaining. And now possession's going to go over with a football at the 20-yard line. So instead of the incredibly obvious choice of trying to punt it out near midfield, now they've left their defense with no margin for error. No, zero. And, and I don't care how much confidence you have in your defense. I don't care if you say, hey, I'm going to be aggressive because those guys can pick me up. You really put them in an impossible situation because at, at the least, you're giving up three in that situation, right? So I, I would have punted the ball out of there and, and given them a little bit of a cushion. And I believe the referee's been buzzed. Yeah, they want to take another look at this call, and it's certainly a big one here late in a tight game. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. After review of the play, so the officials and the folks in New York got a second look at this one, and the call is going to be overturned. They'll try and run for it with Henry. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. to the goal line but not quite in a lot of tired bodies on that field but this is a big play third and goal trying to punch it in with Henry and he's across for the touchdown and in the final minute that should just about seal it well we have seen the stiff arm get a bit of renaissance and that folks is season what season separates season Derrick Henry from all the other running backs in this game and in his real life my sliders are the best sliders on the planet that you would ever come across. When I put that out there, I meant that shit. I meant that. Like, <laughs> I knew that when I put him up on the YouTube. I knew I was good at making sliders for the last couple of years. I didn't want to do it because I, one, I, I just knew it was going to be a long ass process for so many unnecessary reasons and necessary reasons. And I didn't want to go through that. But, hey man, I'm out there now, so. But most of all, y'all enjoying it. I got one thumbs down on my set four slider set. No, you smoking some good crack, boy. Woo! <laughs> oh, that's just a hater. I got some, some haters on bit shoot. Prejudice, racist, whatever words you want to use. But I ain't... I, I, I ain't crying over it, you know. It, it, I mean, shit, I look at it like they keep it, you keeping it real. You know what I'm saying? Call me a, what was it? Well, they ain't called me that. They said they football is nigger ball. <laughs> well, 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 I already know that they should think like that. I already know that. I, I mean, it's not, you know, it's not surprising. I know everybody fucking knows what they believe. You know what you believe about every goddamn thing. What you think? So, you know, I could say the same thing, you know. I did. I commented back. I said something about a cracker. Saying all that to say this, you know, I know my obstacles ain't just going to be clear. You know, they, I'm going to have some obstacles. No matter what I do. In life. I'm old enough to know that. Experienced enough to know that. But, with something like this, the reward is inevitable. I haven't played this game in a while, and man, let me tell you, oh my god, he caught that mother. This gameplay is so fucking good, it's so real. Man, mm -mm -mm. I know y'all cats out there using my shit, I can just imagine, I'm just visualizing y'all. Just happy to the motherfuckers, just keep this shit, man. Like, damn, because this shit is so good, man. Anyway, cut this out. I think I'm back for a little bit. I think I'm gonna get back to posting. 